we are involved in smart city research too. And we, Siemens, founded together in Vienna with the local energy provider and the grid operator or joint venture for smart city research, in particular for the district of Aspen. It's three phases, and in these three phases we have each about to six to seven thousand people will live there. And now we have the first third. So out of these six thousand people, we have at least one residential area where we have a lot of equipment in that goes even in the flat to monitor, for example, the air quality, the temperature, the energy consumption, etc. I would say as, as this was set up as a, as a research project, I mean, the analytics was, uh, let's say, there right from the start, because it was one of the key questions we had that we said, we want to do analytics on all of the data. So there was no saying, okay, we will build first the data, the data infrastructure and do analytics then. So we, we started to think about how to do analytics before we had one attribute of data collected. The challenge is first integrating this from the various sources. Second challenge is having the data in a quality that is really usable. And it was obvious that we need a technology partner with respect to having a data center. And therefore, Siemens has this strategic partnership with Teradata for years. And we made good experience in other projects, so it was uh, just natural to go into this project as well. What was of particular interest for us with Teradata was that they had a lot of experience with modeling data also in the energy uh, area, in the energy domain. From my understanding, the analytic of, uh, of things is that you do analytics on every level. As I said, um, that you have analytics on, on, on a sensor level that also does, does an, an acting something based on the analytic decisions made, yeah. but also on a central scale where you put everything from a lot of sensors together in one data center and do analytics then. So you have both analytics on-site or distributed analytics and central analytics uh, for, let's say, modeling an entire system, building, grid, whatever. So the different levels. And I think you need both really to understand parts of the system and the entire system. And this is also sort of a, a success criteria uh, because when you say a lot of people or, or companies are, are specialized with analytics of, 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 of devices, yeah? in-field analytics, which is usually called, yeah? and other companies are more, let's say, centrally structured, saying, okay, we're focusing on, on analytics and the data in a data center, but I think you need both for real success.